Hello, my name is Mrs Sylvester and I'm Miss Klamova and we are here to introduce you to a brand new course being delivered by the English department. Why have we decided to bring in this new course? We feel there has been a gap in our provision and this will close that. We always get students asking us which to pick, literature or language, and that this solves that problem. We also think it gives us an opportunity to do some more exciting texts, a personal favourite being Othello by Shakespeare, whilst also having similar texts with the A-level course, literature course, so you two as students can discuss those ideas. Finally, when people are making the decision, we get lots of questions about people loving the literature but not having the uh, opportunity to do creative writing. And again, this course solves that problem. What might be exciting for you in particular, guys, is the fact that most of the exam questions are open book, meaning you can take a copy of the exam text with you. There is, of course, a coursework element, um, meaning an opportunity for you to practice your essay skills. Uh, always useful and transferable to many degree subjects. And finally, we are going to introduce you to just a really wide variety of different uh, discussion topics and different ideas, given that we're covering both fiction and non-fiction. Unit 1 is titled Telling Stories, and the term telling has been chosen deliberately. Here you will explore not just how stories are told, but also how stories can be telling, meaning how stories can reveal a lot about ourselves and our society. To put it simply, in this unit, you will explore the different ways in which writers and speakers present stories. You will start by asking yourself general questions, such as, why do people tell stories? What ingredients do stories need to have? What makes a good story? And how are stories told in different ways? There are three sections in this paper. Section A is titled Remembered Places. Here you will have the opportunity to explore a wide range of text types with a particular emphasis on non-fiction. So things like a blog, a transcript of a conversation or a TV advert. You will explore the ways in which writers and speakers present places, societies, people, and events and you will also look at context contextual factors so the time and place where the text was produced and how that's important section b is titled imagined worlds and this section has been designed to give you an insight into the writer's process of creating a fictional world here we will take a deep dive into the dark dystopian world of The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, a novel which, um, whilst published more than three decades ago, remains disturbingly relevant today. Finally, section C is a poetry section. Here you will study a collection of poems by a single author, um, exploring one person's view on a list of different issues and topics. And again, the focus is on how Poets use their voice to tell stories, how they use their voice to present people, time and place. Unit two then, exploring conflict. Here we ask the questions, how do our language choices affect our interactions with others? And how do we express ourselves when in conflict? How do we make ourselves heard? Section A is entitled, Writing About Society. This looks at the study of people and relationships as presented in fiction. Specifically, we will look at how Fitzgerald presents us with New York society and the Great Gatsby. We then take these ideas to produce our own pieces of creative writing, where we give voice to marginalised characters. We then go on to discuss and explore the choices that we have made as a writer ourselves. Section B, Dramatic Encounters. This takes us to the stage to look at how drama presents conflict. We look at how context can help us to understand conflict. We then look at the language used by the characters to assert their views, status and power. We have chosen to look at Shakespeare's tragedy Othello, a play about jealousy, deceit and manipulation. Finally, we have the non-exam assessment coursework entitled Making Connections. Essentially, this is an investigation where you must compare literary and non-literary discourse. 
you will collect your own data and come up with your own theme and title. Previous titles to help you get a flavour are things like a comparison of openings from a novel versus that of a memoir, or looking at comparing a real event and how it is described in a piece of fiction compared to non-fiction. Now you've heard more about the course, it's time to ask yourself a couple of questions. Do you enjoy reading a wide variety of fiction and non-fiction? Do you enjoy reading and writing stories? Do you enjoy exploring how stories are told? Do you enjoy exploring how writers create fictional worlds and characters? Would you like the opportunity to, to reflect on your own creative writing? And do you enjoy researching ideas and issues independently? If you do, then this course is for you. And we look forward to seeing you in September next year.